Welcome back to the wormhole everyone, your number one place for entertainment and fun. I hope you guys all have been doing well. I'm sorry I disappeared there for a bit, just kind of had some personal stuff going on. Had, you know, the holidays, but I'm trying to get back here, get back to making some videos. I'm hoping to bring about some new type of content this year. Um, so, you know, here we go. So I just kind of wanted to get this out. We're playing Pokemon Coliseum. Uh, this is a classic, one of my favorite games on the GameCube, one of my favorite Pokemon games. But I just figured we would, you know, check this out, go through the game, and have a fun time. Pokemon Legends Arceus is coming out, you know, in a few days. And so I just thought this would be kind of fun to get started with. So we're going to go ahead and hop right in here. And do a new game. And I think we're going to be the, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and be Wormhole. You know, nothing too crazy. You know, leave stuff in the comments if you guys have anything for future names that might be fun. But we're just going to do something simple. You know, well, almost. Can't quite fit, but we'll make it work. The wormhole. But, cool. So this is one of my favorite GameCube games. You know, just look at these beautiful graphics. Look at that just a wonderful looking Skarmory. So, this is Team Snagum's hideout. These are the Team Rocket of this game. I love how they all look, they're all, I can't tell if they're all bald and wearing earmuffs, or if they all have, like, the Friar Bowl of, uh, oh, this is our cool protagonist, uh, Wormhole. <laughs> so, he's got an Umbreon and an Espeon. Oh, look at that beautiful run animation. This is great. I love this. <laughs> so funny. Uh, just like it's crazy because at the time when this came out you know 10 15 years ago it was like oh my god look at this we're doing it and now it's like oh my god but that's all right because modern pokemon games don't look a whole lot better <laughs> so ah explosions uh, michael bay that crap but yeah so uh <laughs> you know it's not like it's any worse than a modern pokemon game but you know, Sword and Shield was pretty rough. So let's hope Arceus is a bit better. And uh, it's not going to be quite as uh, choppy as some of the more recent games we've had. So this is the Outskirts Stand. These are our, our dinguses that are like the worst criminals ever. <laughs> I love, I love uh, criminals that are just so obviously bad at being criminals that it's just like oh come on like you know obviously these two are up to no good that guy's wearing underwear on his head like another dude's wearing speedo goggles like you know cool so you know it's always good you pop in here this is your first little area you get to run around it's a news report authorities have made a stunning announcement there's an explosion explosion so, team snag them, those jerks. All right, cool. Found their hideout. Explosions are an investigation. I'm sure it'll become apparent eventually. But so there's not a whole lot to do in this little place. This is gonna be your first kind of like place you get pokeballs. We'll come back here and I'll point that out when we do it. But all that happens here is there's a guy that wants to fight you for some reason. This guy tells you to relax. You know. But this is the guy that wants to fight you. So you just go back, talk to him, and there you go. He's like, oh, don't, I, don't I can beat you? Yeah, that's right, you can't, nerd. But so here he comes. So I think I'm going to kind of stick with uh, fast forwarding through the battles uh, just because there, you know, I don't want to be sitting here forever watching just like, oh, bite, use tackle. So I'm going to like speed through them, but still kind of point, like talk over. So. Uh, that way I can kind of like still show you guys what's happening, but not get like sucked too deep into it. So here we go. So this is a pretty standard battle. Like you got little zigzagoons. Competitively, zigzagoons suck, but they're you know cute little things. I think Linen had some weird belly drum like uh, you know skill, but I watched uh, I watched this Pokemon guy talk about competitive. Pokemon, and he's like, Zigzagoon sucks, but it's like false swipe gaming. You should check him out, he's pretty good. But anyway, so we're just wiping the literal floor with these guys, just, you know, do a little bite here, you know, blast them a bit. Fairly simple. 
Uh, but this guy, after we beat him, you know, he's going to be like, you know, wow, you beat me, I figured. <laughs> but uh, you should go check out, you know, other people to get kick their ass. Thanks for kicking mine. Here's some money. Anyways, so, yeah. But here he goes. He's going to be like, oh, you're a tough cookie there, Johnny. So go, go kick their asses. And you're like, all right, I didn't ask you, but thanks. And here we go. Just hop on our cool, cool motorcycle and head over to this next city. But uh, this is—I do like this city. I think it's pretty. Like I like the the design of it. But I love the desolate wasteland in the background. <laughs> Those old old you know gen generation of games where they don't have a background. It's like you just get what they're looking at. But, oh yeah, here's our dinguses, once again, kidnapping somebody. Uh, you know, in broad daylight, because that's how you, you know, kidnap people. Is you just wait till the middle of the day and throw them in a sack. But I think here comes another another quick little battle. So, we'll pa I think I'll just let this one play. These guys are kind of goofy. But, uh... Actually, what am I doing here? We're gonna, so here we go, Umbreon, Espeon, we're gonna kick their ass, pretty simple, maybe I should fast forward through these, you're kinda on the ride with me, this is my first time doing like a game kind of format like this, I think, I'm gonna let this battle play out, but I think next time we're gonna speed through them, I'm not sure, cause actually I feel like that first one went by so quick that I was like, oh I guess I could talk through these. So, you know, how about you guys leave me some comments, and I'll just kind of play with the format, we're going to go along with it, you know, freeform, we're here to relax, not, you know, conform, but, uh, th these guys, they just got their stupid whismers, <clears throat> nothing too special. Once we get a little further in here, we'll run into some more shadow Pokemon, and I'm going to try to take the time to point out where all of them are, because, uh, you know, I kind of want to do a little bit of like a, you know, a game playthrough. You know, you want to, if you, maybe you want to play it, you want to know where stuff is, you can follow along. You know, this is, I don't want to skip around too much or do too much editing. But I do want to kind of get through these because yeah, that one was kind of a longer battle. Uh, but then again, it was only like a minute. I don't know. You guys are the audience. You let me know what's better for you. So we get a little cheeky level up there on uh, two of my favorite Pokemon, Umbreon and Espeon. I mean, who doesn't love the Eeveelutions? They're they're all great. You know, there's like one Pokemon I'd probably want. It's one of the Eevees. That's what I feel like a lot of people think. But who knows? I also like a fair share of different Pokemon. I think Ruby and Sapphire is probably the best generation. But uh, Diamond and Pearl is a good second. Here we go. Everyone's going to finally realize, like, oh, you're, you're kidnapping people. You can't do that. What are you doing? Uh, we're gonna, tr we're gonna mess you up, man. Uh, they just left their truck. You know, can you imagine just you, somebody just committing a broad daylight crime and then they just leave their vehicle? So we're gonna pop this knot and uh, let this check out. Oh, hi. Cool, good to meet you, sack girl. So. Basically, the plot here is that this girl got kidnapped because she's got magic eyes. And she can see the the darkness in the hearts of Pokemon. So, we're just going to stick with a simple name. I mean, call her... Uh, what do you call her? Mm, let's think, think, think. Uh, just call her Misty. Why not? A little bit of nostalgia. That's always fun. Misty and wormhole. The misty wormhole. Ugh, sounds wet. So, anyways, these guys got grabbed. She's asking about the weird Pokemon. Pretty no ordinary, if you ask me. So, she's going to want us to go check it out here with the mayor, because he apparently just knows stuff. So, they're going to, uh, that's what we're going to go do. Go chat with him. You know, we'll escort this chick around since we're basically just a vagrant gangster and have, like, no home or, like, goal or plans. So we're just, like, we'll just tag, her on, tag along with this chick. Like, what else are we doing? 
So, but all right. So we're gonna run over here. So this is the uh, here's their dumb truck, idiots. So we're gonna head over here to the Pokemon Center, and save up, heal up, all that good stuff, and uh, then we'll kind of see where we're at from there. Yeah, so this is for this area. Here's your first Pokemon Center. This will be a good place to kind of train. There's a gym. There's like a weird little gym that you can do a few waves of trainers. But come on, buddy. Calm down. You can't roll a toy around. So I think we're going to hold out here and get a quick save in. And then we will start moving to the next spot. So uh, we're healed up, as you can see we got our uh, we got Umbreon, Espeon, you know, uh, mid-twenties, not bad, we're gonna go check out the mare and get moving on to the next part of this plot. So the big story here is as we just saw, this chick can see shadow Pokemon, which are evilly manipulated Pokemon, and we gotta get to the bottom of it. So as we're running over here, we're gonna run into Riku from Kingdom Hearts 2. This is what would have happened if you never uh, never saved him. He just continues being evil and starts fighting Pokemon. But yeah, he's he thinks he'll see us again. He might. We might run into him. Seems pretty much like a generic bad guy there. But pop in and what do we got? Oh, it's the mayor. I like his little pom poms. So poof balls. Look at him. I'm the mayor. I'm the Escade. Well, Escade. Interesting name. I wonder if it's Spanish. Like, his name is Cade, but he's like, my name is Cade. It's like, it is Cade. Like, maybe, but, anyways. <laughs> so she's like, you know, trying to explain to this guy, alternate Misty here, trying to explain that this Pokemon was giving off some bad juju. Oh, man. Can you imagine that, though? Like, so, our, uh, in between starting and finishing this, Arceus came out, and, uh, it really brings out kind of the, the fear of Pokemon, like, man, like, you can die. Like, it's constantly reminding you you can die. Uh, we're telling him about the thugs, like, he's going to do something. But, uh, yeah, so it's, like, really cool in Pokemon uh, Arceus that, like, Pokemon attack you and they get, like, angry. And, oh, here we go. So he basically said, like, go check out our stadium. Uh, he, he's just this guy. He's telling us what to do. We're, we're going to go generically follow his instructions. But in uh, Arceus, yeah, like all the Pokemon can like kind of attack you and you can get like knocked out and then you have to get saved. It's kind of like Monster Huntery where like you have to tell them where you're going and then there's like different like self-contained regions that you have free reign to walk around. But it's really cool. I'm hoping to do a stream here in the next day or two. I got like my Twitch, my, uh, Twitch set up. I'll put a link down to that in the description. But, oh, here come some goons with their fryer cuts. I'm inclined to believe that they are wearing earmuffs. But why would you have to shave your head to join a club? Unless, like, this is, like, a, you know, kind of sketchy club. But, oh, this is where she finds out we're a bad guy. And we're just like, yes, I am a criminal. And she's like, oh, that's startling. But, uh, so now we're going to fight these guys. Uh, because they're upset that we stole their snag machine, which, uh, I don't really understand what keeps Pokemon from being, uh, sucked into different people's Pokeballs at any given point. Like, in Arceus, apparently, they make a reference that, uh, it's, it's a team whacking, but, uh, they make a reference to the fact that Pokemon can shrink themselves to miniature sizes. As though, like, you know, that just makes sense. But I am I would love them to try to explain how the heck you fit Pokeballs. Because in Arceus, you just make them out of apricots and, like, rocks. So you're just, like, mashing fruit and rocks together and you're somehow, you know, warping space and time. But So here's another just generic battle uh, against these goons. You know, boom. Coalfish. Oh my god, I can't believe it survived. That's so ridiculous. Yeah, there you go. Stupid crab. But, uh, yeah. Arceus, again, really cool game. Definitely should check it out. I definitely want to put some videos out for it. So, as I try to blast through this. So, maybe I'll put out this and Arceus, and then you can kind of see how far we've come. <laughs> this is what I grew up with. Now kids are getting to, like, do barrel rolls and chuck, uh, you know, apricorns at wild Pokemon. 
It's really cool. It's like Breath of the Pokemon. Not quite as expansive. You can't jump. I thought that was weird. I think it's weird in games nowadays kind of not being able to jump. But it's, it kind of almost seems a little dated. But it also makes sense because then you have to program a whole nother vector. Like I actually, <laughs> me and my wife are working on a game. And uh, now that I'm mentioning it, we're not gonna, you're not going to be able to jump in it either. So it's kind of funny that I'm complaining about not being able to jump and then making a game that you can't jump. Oh, woe is life. So, oh yeah, so this chick, she's like, oh, you're former. Doesn't matter to me. You saved my, my galleon prince. Dude, this chick, she's, ooh, she's got a crush, and you just look so apathetic. You're like, yeah, I want to steal more Pokemon. <laughs> Let's go do that. So, so now that we did that, next goal is to get out of here. So, chugga chugga. But, we should go shopping. So that's what's frustrating. She says, we gotta go get Pokeballs. And I knew ahead of time that you can get Pokeballs at that outskirts stand. Because I've played this. But I forgot that you have to go to the store. Yeah, hello. Oh, they have nothing. How weird. Who would have thought? So you, what you gotta do is you gotta go back here and talk to this lady. Not, not the little kid, but this lady back here looking at milk and beer. Talk to her. What is that like? What are those like Pokeballs? I never looked at the textures in there. That's weird. Like weird Pokeball shaped like tubes. So she tells you to go to the outskirts stand. Which in that case, now we can do that because I'm a goof. Didn't realize we had to do that. So we're gonna go there. And do 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 outskirts stand. Rolling around on a motorbike. And this dude behind the bar. Oh, there's that nerd. Nerd, kicked your ass. I love the wind physics of that sign blowing. So this big, huge dude, he's got Pokeballs. So you talk to him, bam, bam, look at that. And here he comes. A little dusty. Man, how cool would it be to have Pokemon? I feel like it'd be terrifying, because all it means is you'd have birds that can shoot tornadoes and lightning. So we're going to stock up on some Pokeballs because the goal here is really I'm going to try to really catch every Shadow Pokemon and show you guys what that, you know, is all about. Uh, that's what I'd like to do. I'd like to do like a semi-useful playthrough for you guys so you can actually walk away and say, hey, I, I knew. I recognize that if you ever play this game. I guarantee they'll find a, a reason to port it to the Switch at some point. Maybe a double pack with Gale of Darkness. That'd be cool. And then I could play the Gale of Darkness because I'm not going to spend $150 to buy it. <laughs> Unless somebody wants to send it to me. But I need a P.O. Box first. So send me an email if you really want to send me a <laughs> Pokemon Gale of Darkness because you want to watch me play it. Because I would love to. So now this lady tells us about these scary men. which they, She says they drove out with the truck earlier, but if you guys remember, they left the truck there. So I don't remember that happening. Well, whatever. Continuity errors in a Pokemon game. Who'd have thought? So, oh yeah, Justy. That's the, like, pseudo-gym leader in this little gym crawl there. So this is one of my favorite villains. This guy is so funny with his giant afro. And then here's Panthead in Goggle Boy. These dinguses. What are you guys doing? Yeah, they are pathetic. Yes, my name is Wormhole. I like he said, we're not at liberty to keep your lady friend at liberty. It's a funny, funny little thing there. We're not at liberty to, uh continue with liberty so this guy's pissed at us for thwarting his stupid plans and uh then he delightfully tells us where he's going i love that he could have just not said where he's going he could just said i'm leaving meet me at the place but he's like the story has to happen so there's some goons they're like little power ranger dudes kind of look like the kamen rider from uh one punch man but, all right, we're going to beat the crap out of these guys. So this is another, like, story fight here that you have to do. This is where we get our first Shadow Pokemon. Because, uh, so the Shadow Pokemon are kind of cool. They have them in Pokemon Go as well, I noticed. Where it's, like, they're a little stronger, but, like, sometimes they just do whatever they want. Uh, I just, m like, mulch every Shadow Pokemon in Pokemon Go I get. I, uh, don't care. 
about wasting my stardust and candies on them, so I just mulch them, get the candies, and then I just, you know, power up my other Pokemon. But my wife loves playing Pokemon Go. We end up, like, just taking trips around Pokemon Go and for fun when some days when she's, like, feels like getting out. And it's always fun. Just, you know, head to the mall, wander around, catch some Pokemon. I hated it for the longest time, but it's fun with her. Because I'm one of those posers that does things that with their wife because it makes them happy, even if I don't really care to do it. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, God, I love her. She's the best. We're going to do some Pokemon card opening videos here soon. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know as we wipe the floor with his low tad. We are doing, uh, we got a bunch of Pokemon card sets, and we're going to start doing that here any day. I got got to get my camera set up because we're going to do actual cameras with that. Um, and then, like, you know, I want to kind of maybe set up, like, a Reddit or a website or something, do kind of a community thing where people can trade or maybe buy extra cards we have so we can help other people finish their collections and you know work with like some of our viewers where like you know if you guys want you know have cards to you know you want to sell trade you know i'd like to do something like that and uh kind of build a community up around it i know cards are really popular right now they've always been but i also think it's really hard to f get authentic cards that you know are going to be legit it's kind of scary, like, you know, like buying secondhand stuff off of eBay. So it'd be cool to get a little Reddit set up where people can communicate and send stuff back and forth. So, you know, that's going to be coming out here soon. We're getting everything set up, going to get the recording done here. Then I'll take a few days to edit and hopefully get that out by this weekend, maybe next week. Who knows? God knows if I'll even get this video out. <laughs> I've been really trying hard uh, to keep up with content. Boom, there's your Makuhita for the record. Let me just step away from what I'm saying because I'm just on a tangent about Pokemon cards. There is your first uh, Shadow Pokemon right here. So the goal is to catch all of them. I think there's like 52. So we'll kind of work through that and get them all. But as I was saying, I've been kind of having a hard time. And I'm hoping that this is going to be the first video that I put out that's going to get me back into it. Um, like I really want to do stuff with my wife with these card openings. And we're making... Kind of on the download, making a video game. I don't want to put too much out there about it because, like, we've got a lot of work to do. Um, it's going to probably take a few years to get anywhere with it. But as soon as we have, like, a demo, I do, you know, I hope you viewers are the first people to see it and get excited about it. But, uh, you know, thanks for, like, just kind of listening to me ramble here for a minute, you know. I ramble these and so... God, I say so a lot. You know, I'm sure you guys are going to be in the comment like, so, so, like, you know, so, so, so. But I'm just kind of getting back in the hang of it. It's been a while. It's kind of been a lot to do getting back into the move and groove of stuff. So here we go. Let's finally focus on catching this thing. I don't want to kill it, so I'm going to use some buffing moves here on my Umbreon. Uh, helping hand, I think, kind of increases the damage I do. But I'm also going to use, like, a not like a too powerful move because I want to do some damage, but I don't want to kill him. So throw that in there, knock him, beat him around a little bit. No, he's going to smack me because uh, Dark is weak to fighting. Whatever. This is nothing. I mean, this is the first Pokemon. We're going to catch it. I know anybody here that'd be playing this can handle it. But we're just going to chuck a Great Ball, cross our fingers, and check the first one off the list. So there we go again. So, so, so. I see, I see. Throwing a Snag Ball. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I wonder what happens if you have like a Pokemon that you caught, and then it like gets it like gets out and you like escapes because like we see in the anime and like in the game in the game even all the time that po people's Pokemon escape. Uh, what if you try to catch it? Wouldn't like at what point does is it just always owned and you can never catch it unless you have a magic Team Rocket Ball? But food for thought. Leave me in the comments. How does stealing Pokemon work? I'd love to know your thoughts on it. Like, subscribe, smash that button, do the do, check out my Twitch and my Twitter and all that. I don't have a Twitter yet, but I'm going to get one here soon for you guys. You know, just so I can, like, tweet out when we have new videos and stuff like that. And, like, maybe tweet out cards, like, when we get cool cards and during the openings and stuff. Look at me goofing, Tate, but... Alright, boom. That was the first section of the story done. Sorry, that clap was kind of loud. Uh, got a little excited there. So that's the first chunk of the story done. We're going to go back to the PC. We're going to get a save in, get a heal, get all that good stuff. Cool. 
we are, you know, moving along. This is, we're going to, when we come back, next time we come back, we're going to knock out one of those three dudes that we saw. One of them has a starter. So we'll think about what we want, but there we go. Uh, thank you guys all for joining me today. We're going to leave it here. Like, subscribe, keep coming back.